In today's video, we will talk about the top 7 slowest cars in the world. Most auto lovers want their vehicles to have as much power and performance as possible, but even the slowest vehicles on the market today may be entertaining. These cars won't win you any races, but they are becoming more and more common among people who are driven by their jobs and must maneuver through congested city streets. Bear with us till the end because we have such an amazing collection for the slowest cars in the world ever made. Let's get started. Number 7. Volkswagen California The camper van that is the focus of this evaluation is a full-size monocab camper van. It has seating for up to 7 people, and it has sleeping space for up to 4 people. Additionally, it is rated to tow up to 2.5 tons. The namesakes are not even somewhat similar to one another. The Volkswagen California, which is based on the Volkswagen Transporter, combines the spaciousness and sturdy capabilities of an actual commercial vehicle with extremely respectable ride and handling characteristics, as well as excellent fixtures and fittings that in no way bring the Volkswagen brand into disrepute. You could drive it to the Nürburgring 24-hour race, sleep in it in the paddock, and then drive it home again regardless of what happens during the race if you attach a tow bar, a trailer, and a racing weapon of your choice to it. It's the kind of contraption that could make your racing fantasies a reality. The dynamics of the California are not like those of an automobile, but when observed in the appropriate environment, they are rather amazing. This is not a drive to look forward to, it is a car that serves a purpose. But it rides smoothly and quietly, it is mechanically tuned to a good degree, it is easy to control in terms of steering, and it performs adequately. Number 6. Land Rover Defender 90 it's not a difficulty at all to simply go at low speeds while using a higher gear you can simply remain in 5th or 6th gear on roads with speed bumps, without pausing as you slow down and then regain your speed to 30 miles per hour. However, the torque only lasts for a very short period of time, so there isn't much use in revving the engine much beyond 3000 revolutions per minute or up because by that point the torque rate drops just as quickly as the fuel needle does and the engine will almost certainly be kicking and screaming by then. The maximum speed is a terrifying 90 miles per hour, which is already faster than the previous top speed of 83 to 85 miles per hour. The drivers speculate that this may be mostly attributable to those tires as well as the excellent aerodynamics. However, drivers never got anywhere near 90 miles per hour because the car didn't feel particularly comfortable above 75 miles per hour. However, because of what seemed to be a combination of a tense engine and the resistance of the wind, the optimal cruising speed was somewhere between 65 and 70 miles per hour. The engine eventually loosened up and became more pleased with it as time went on. Number 5. Porsche 718 Cayman Porsche claims that it can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.9 seconds when fitted with a 7-speed PDK transmission, or in 4.7 seconds when coupled with the optional Sport Chrono package which costs $5,330. Porsche estimates that you can reach 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour in 11.1 seconds or 10.8 seconds if you have the magic Sport Chrono box checked. After the launch control was activated, the 718 sped up to 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.38 seconds, which is an astounding 0.32 seconds faster than the claim. However, it was only getting started blazing to 160 km per hour in just 10.18 seconds, which is an astonishing 0.62 seconds quicker than Porsche's official stats. After that, it completed the quarter mile in 12.65 seconds while traveling at 177.86 km per hour. Keep in mind that this is the slowest and least powerful sports car that Porsche offers the 2.0-liter turbo charge flat 4 in this vehicle produces 220 kilowatts and 380 m. Number 4. Peugeot 106 Electrique The Peugeot 106 Electrique is the setting with 5 seats that was first released in the early years of the new millennium. This electric vehicle may have a modern appearance, but its power and performance are much inferior to those of comparable vehicles. In addition, when the vehicle is driven for an extended amount of time, the power output is reduced to a minimum level. On the other hand, taking everything into consideration, it was a reliable automobile. The electric drivetrain of the Puja is capable of producing 27 horsepower and a maximum torque of 94 pound-feet of torque. Due to the vehicle's low top speed of only 56 miles per hour, the single-speed automatic transmission does not provide outstanding acceleration, and there is no 060 acceleration in this case. Number 3. Porsche 911 Cabriolet This automobile is a work of art and more than justifies the price at which it is now being sold. 
It comes standard with an upgraded entertainment system, a remote car parking system, upgraded driver aid packages, an unmatchable design, outstanding driving characteristics, utmost comfort of the offer, 7-inch TFT panels on the driver and passenger sides, and a heated rear windshield, in addition to a great deal of other notable features. When the roof is lowered, the experience for both the driver and the passengers in this convertible, which is a car with a soft top, is significantly improved. It takes less than 3.7 seconds for the automobile to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, which places it squarely in the category of one of the slowest cars. Number 2. Lamborghini Urus The Urus is the second SUV produced by Lamborghini, following in the footsteps of the Rambo Lambo LM002. However, it is not precisely a traditional Italian automobile. It shares its underpinnings with other opulent workhorses such as the Audi Q7, the Q8, the Porsche Cayenne, and the Bentley Bentayga. Even the twin-turbo V8 engine that produces 657 horsepower is manufactured in Germany before being sent to San Agata Balinese, which is where the Urus is constructed. A forthcoming hybrid power plant will leverage the Urus's advanced electronic saddle more than ever before. The Urus is the most technologically advanced mechanical bull available, including features such as an 8-speed automatic transmission, a torsion center differential, and a torque vector and rear differential. The Urus, the largest and most powerful vehicle offered by Lamborghini, is known for drinking a lot of gas, but for those who can afford it, that amount is probably just a drop in the bucket. The EPA projects that the 657 horsepower Urus will achieve a city fuel economy of 14 mp and a highway fuel economy of 19 mp. A blocked air filter, a filthy mass airflow sensor MAF, a clogged fuel filter, a fuel pump malfunction, a malfunctioning oxygen sensor, a dirty throttle body, Worn spark plugs and a clawed catalytic converter are the most typical causes of poor acceleration in a Lamborghini Urus. The throttle position sensor TPS, broken ignition coils, unclean fuel injectors, clawed engine oil filter, gearbox trouble, worn piston rings, and blown head gasket are some of the less common causes of a blown head gasket. Because of these issues, this vehicle is currently in the running for the title of the slowest car that has ever been manufactured. Number 1. Aixem Coupe Evo Another lightweight quadricycle was shown by France once more during this meeting. But at least it doesn't look like a toy automobile this time, it appears more like a real car. The Exim Coupe is a two-seater quadricycle that travels at such a low speed that a driver's license is not even required to operate one. That's correct, the Exim Coupe may be driven by anyone who is at least 16 years old and has successfully completed the moped license test. There is no other eligibility criteria. The Azem Coupe is equipped with a twist-cylinder diesel engine that has a displacement of 400 kick. Along with many of the other cars on this list, it has an electronically limited peak speed of 30 miles per hour and a combined 5.6 horsepower. Because there is no need to worry about parking, an Azem Coupe may be a good choice for novice drivers who are just starting out on the road or for people who live in locations with streets that are particularly small. The Azem Coupe is, all things considered, a superior option to the Twizy yet it is also more expensive. We have reached the end. Before you go, make sure you tap the subscribe button and share this video in your friend's circle. Have a great day.